welcome back to part two of the Chevy Nerd. We're going to talk about the interior, quirks and features about the new 2022 Chevrolet Colorado. Stay tuned for this episode of the Chevy Nerd. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this bad boy. All right, as we walk up to the Colorado, obviously getting greeted to those nice black emblems from the outside. Enough about the outside, let's go inside though. So, as we get greeted in, we're gonna see a two-tone combination uh, when it comes to the blacks and grays that we typically pick through General Motors. Um, very similar to last year's, actually nothing really different. Uh, once you kind of take a look at it, except that they've added some options to also add in the full leather upholstery versus the two-tone. Now that option has been available, but it's not very common. Uh, when it comes to this unit, we ordered it with the leather on there. You're gonna see also power seats. Now pay attention on a couple of these. I did notice this, this was a little bit different last time. Um, there's different options in power seats. I believe from the 2017s to 18s, they didn't have a couple of these features I'm gonna show you. But one of the things that they'll have, you're gonna have your button forward, backward, and towards the back, you're gonna have up, down, and this one was a new one. Maybe I missed it last time, but this one's gonna have that underneath knee support there too. Nice. So depending on kind of the adjustment and how you drive, you're gonna have that support available there. You also have your lumbar support, which kind of pops up right there, and you're gonna see that, that seat kind of inflate outward. So really cool. And then we still have your handle here for incline or recline I apologize now weird thing I think Chevy needs to get their act together and really get this thing out of the way so at this point we're far enough that we should be able to have electric seats I don't know what's going on with that but I guess we'll be staying too now when it comes to the interior of this one this one's packaged with the all-weather liners this is something that Chevy actually did right which is kind of nice uh, when it comes to these liners here um, instead of giving the business to WeatherTech Heck man, let's make it ourselves. One of the cool things that I like about them is that they have the emblems on there, which is really neat. Now, sorry for the lighting there, it's kind of dark in there guys, so. But, once again, going to the black and grays for the interior, let's take a look at some of the features that they added. So, when we're looking at uh, the steering wheel, um, a couple things to pay attention here on the steering wheel. We're gonna have now the safety assist package. Now the cool thing on this one is that you're gonna have forward collision and automatic braking uh, for the front. So you're gonna see this guy here. It's basically that distance indicator that'll show up uh, right towards the front here. And it'll actually pop up right there to measure your gap, collision alert. And you can kind of adjust it to whatever, si uh, whatever spacing you want. Now, I don't know what the measurement, whoops, I don't know what the measurement is when it comes to the independent gaps on there. That's definitely a good question. Uh, we'll definitely be figuring that out. But essentially, the closer you are is the closer you are to the person in front of you. So depending on how how soon you want it to alert you, that distance indicator, you can kind of measure it and adjust it to your preference or take it completely off. Okay. Now, alongside that, we also added just a couple extra creature comforts, uh, like the heated steering wheel. That's a nice addition there. Now, I know it seems kind of silly, but until you have one, you got to experience it. You might think it's silly, but once you have one, you never go back from having a heated steering wheel. So, uh, let's take a look at this guy here. These are going to be the assist. Um, options here when it comes to lane keep assist this one kind of helps you stay within your lanes it's a really cool feature it uses that camera that i showed you in the other video for the exterior uh, this guy here basically follows the lines and then as soon as you're veering off it'll give you a warning a warning beep to let you know you're veering off to the left or right hand side right. so it's a really cool little add-on there for safety i really like it uh, you also have parking sensors in the rear. So parking sensors, the reason there's a button here is just in case you're towing, you can always to turn those off as you hit the reverse. You don't want to hit that, you know, annoying beeping sound on there too. So obviously you have your hazards, your tow haul mode, and this guy here is 
exclusive to Z71, as you should, guys should know by now. This guy's your heel descent, so this guy keeps you within 25 to 30 miles uh, or under as you're kind of descending from a hill, which is pretty cool. Kind of keeps you that gives you that more of that control. Now you have your heated heated seats, so. This is kind of a cool thing with General Motors. They have your option for this guy here being your back and your butt, and this one just being your back, which is kind of a neat neat touch to that. Now, uh, a couple other things. This one is new here. Now, although very small change, it is more of a comfort change. Uh, before on the last model, I'll take a picture of one, you used to have more of a longer, kind of a grippier kind of shifter. This one's nice and clean, gives you that nice handle feel to it. Um, you also have your upshift and downshift here, so upshift, downshift, and then just your gear there. I like it because it, it just has a better grip here. So the other one, you definitely had to grip it here and then pull. So, I mean, it's up to preference, but I definitely like this new this new look to it. It also kind of, instead of it being so wide, kind of opens up the area here a little bit. Now you'll have your Chevrolet emblem there, which is a nice little touch there, and then your leather right through there. The cool thing too is that it kind of gives you this new little look onto uh, the console here. I like this in comparison to some of the previous models had chrome. That kind of shines in your eyes sometimes, so that was a good fix there. I like it a lot. Two cup holders on there, and then you have two USB ports. Uh, let me get in there. So two USB ports and your 12 volt there. Really cool. Now, uh, you have your standard infotainment system. The infotainment here is the 3.0 through Chevrolet. One of the most user-friendly infotainment systems in the market. I don't care what you say. This thing is easy. It's simple. It's easy to connect your Bluetooth. It's easy to look at your, uh, your audio. Everything is very self-explanatory, which is as it should be, because the last thing that you want to start figuring out as you're driving is an overly complicated system. This guy, thumbs up, does a really good job. Now, a couple things that they added to uh, between the 2000, I think it was the 20, the 19s and 20s, is this bad boy here, wireless charging. Awesome idea, awesome features. The only thing I just don't like about this guy here is that everybody has a laptop sized phone. So not a lot of phones fit here. So a lot of the phones, like your standard iPhones, uh, let's see here, your iPhone 12s, iPhone 13s that are the smaller size, perfect, fits great. Now, wireless uh, AirPods and stuff like that, anything that would have wireless charging, boom, you can set it there and it's gonna charge. But if you're, you know, if you're flexing and you're using the iPhone 12 Pro, 13 Pro Max, all those things that are much bigger, that's not gonna work out too hot. But it is what it is. Chevrolet, take notes. Stop it. Get some help. Now, you're going to have your storage uh, components there. Nice and easy there. Now, you're going to have right through there glove compartments, usual books and stuff. Pluck them and follow them. Throw them to the side. Nobody reads those, but you probably should. All right. Towards the back, you're going to have quite a bit of space. So, sorry for that little uh, audio there. But, let's go take a look at the back seat. Ah. All right. Now, as you guys can see, that's how I was sitting. I was giving myself a little bit of space just for the camera. So, if I were to sit there being about six, I would probably sit right around there. So, let's take a look at the space in the back. I'm six one, and that still gives us plenty of decent space in the back here. Now, you're gonna have the same little WeatherTech air, uh, mats there that are through GM. Uh, you're gonna be greeted to two USB ports for your guests back here. Everybody needs to be charging these days. And your 12 volt there. Now, for the rear seat, you have a little release here. This guy here goes ahead and lifts this guy up. And then you have a little cargo area down there. Now, you also have this guy here on the seats that you can pull and it actually pulls the seat down. Now that little button right there, you press it, folds down and then it gives you that nice fold. So let's press it here, bam. And there you go. Pretty versatile back seat. Let's put it back up. All right. And then towards the back, I'm not sure why we haven't done it, but it is still a manual slide. It is what it is. 
we deal with it, but at least we have an option. Now, that kind of covers the interior of the 2022 Chevrolet Colorado. A couple tweaks, a couple differences. Um, I do know that when it comes to a major redesign, hopefully by 2023, 2024, we'll have a new re-updated model. But for the meantime, I think the face up lip definitely makes it look nicer. Uh, some of the key things positioned here have been there all along for, this, for as long as we've had Colorados when it comes to 2015 and newer. So you're gonna have your lighting, your four wheel drive, your dash lighting there. Uh, your automatic climate control, which is nice. And then this one does include the remote start. So pretty cool stuff. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. This brand new 2022. Come get it, cause these guys are not sitting too long. I'm lucky to be able to film this. All right, guys, hopefully you liked the video. I have fun doing these, so do me a big favor. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, okay? Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to stay tuned for more information, more news through the Chevy Nerd, and also go ahead and leave a comment behind. Ask me some questions. I'll be right there, right next to you, answering those right back. Well, probably not next to you, but I'll go ahead and write you back. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to the Chevy Nerd. Stay out of trouble. We'll see you soon.